Okay. So what I want to talk about first, so I actually had somebody to interview tonight and that actually fell through last minute. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I was kind of excited for that, but basically all we were really going to talk about is pushing for promotions. Um, that person was going to touch on that. So, um, a big, big thing that I really want to talk about tonight was our, or is our business opportunity party that is this week. So not only guys, it's only 15 minutes, maybe 20, but basically what we're going to really do is just touch on the business stuff. I'll do like a quick little thing about the products, but it's just going to be like a, we have a skincare line. We have this, we have that. Um, and then it's just going to be about the business. So it's kind of going to be like the Emerald zoom that we would do, but this is going to be very structured and then very, um, open for people to ask questions and answers. So here is your chance to message anybody and everybody and say, Hey, we've got a business opportunity party. It's only 15 minutes long. Would you like an invite? All you have to do is ask people and then invite them. And you know what guys, not everyone's going to be on and it's okay, but guess what? It gives you a whole nother reason to then go follow up with everybody. So, so many people are struggling with distributors right now. I'm challenging every single one of you guys. I don't have my planner. I think it's Wednesday. Can somebody give them the date and time? I don't have my planner near me. Sorry. Um, I'm cha Go ahead if someone has it. It's Wednesday at nine, isn't it? Nine. Yeah, it's Wednesday okay. night at nine. Okay. So Wednesday night, nine Eastern standard time. So that's six, my time. And guys, seriously, it's like, it's going to be quick, short and sweet. We're just going to go live and then we're going to just talk about the specifics and then we will leave it open for questions and answers. But I want you guys to be on so that when we're going live talking, we don't have to like stop and answer their question. We don't have to stop and answer that question. That's what you guys get to help with. You guys are on that live too, helping answering questions of potentials. Um, shoot, I was gonna say something, dang it. Um, ooh. Oh, I'm challenging every single one of you to bring 20 people. Guys, if you get 20 people to say yes, then that means you're probably gonna message around I want to say at least a hundred people, if not 200 people. Okay. So within these next couple of days, think about what you have to do to get to Emerald. Do you need six distributors? Do you need seven? Do you need two? Like, what do you need? These next couple of days, I'm, I don't care if you copy and paste something, copy and paste it to all these people, all your potentials, have it add their name, whatever. Hey, we've got an opportunity zoom. It's only 15 minutes. Make sure you make it clear. It's only 15 minutes. Would you like an invite question mark? And then keep track of that. So I'm challenging you. What did I say? If, if you bring on 20 people, what do you get? Does anyone remember what I said? You get something. You get a prize for me. I thought I said something specific though. Guys, no, I blame her. When I can't think of anything, I blame her. It, it's all because of her. Okay, so moving on. If anyone have any questions or anything they wanna add about the opportunity Zoom. Okay. Oh, next thing, a sip and sample. Who has done a sip and sample and who can explain what a sip and sample is? Katie, can you talk about your sip and sample? Um, I just had, um invited people over, created an event, sent invites out to people who wanted it, and basically just had my table set up with um, greens um, in water, greens in juice. I had my little bullet out for vanilla shake and chocolate shake, energy. Um, what am I missing? Um, co keto coffee. That was before the rest of the keto stuff came out. Um, and literally just said, what do you want to try? Because I'll make it any way you want it. Um, and that's what we did. And it was fun. Awesome. Yeah. Find customers on the spot. Actually, I did it with um, two of um, my distributors. And we signed LCs that night right on the spot. It was really cool. Awesome. And I'm going to do it again. I'm planning one for April. Good. And you know what you also, you also did that I really like, um, you, your team 
to yes. invite other people to. It wasn't just a, this is my party for my potentials. Katie opened it up to everybody else too, which I absolutely love doing. So whenever I do a party too, I'll open it up to all my team and they can bring potentials too. So that's what I ended up doing. As soon as I got the ketones and the keto go, I did a, I, I think sampling party, sip and sample basically. And I made it however people wanted. I did coffee and then I did coffee with the greens and then I did coffee with something else. I can't remember. I did something else with the coffee. Um, so try it different ways, have people sample it. Now here's the thing. You don't have to you if you have 10 people there, you don't give 10 packets of coffee. It's a sample. Guys, I had how many people did we have? Uh, seven? One cup of coffee. That was it. One cup of coffee. Pour, 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 pour. Everyone tries it. Tell me what you think. I even went live uh, because one of the girls there, hang on. Okay. Um, I went live and one of the girls there was like, Tim Hortons, it tastes like Tim Hortons. It's so good. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it was the keto coffee with the, um, with the chocolate greens and it tasted like hot chocolate. So, um, so we tried that too. So buy the little kids paper cups, put the samples and throw it away. Cheap way. Yep. No dishes. Awesome. Uh, that was a mistake of mine. Whoever came to mind, I think Leslie and Charlene were here. I was like, Oh, we'll use coffee mugs. That, I just wanted it. Like that was so dumb. I was like, come on. Like then I'm washing them all afterward. I'm like that was dumb. <laughs> so yes, just use little sample cups, which by the way, I just bought the ones that Megan posted about in diamond dreams. I just bought the little cups with the covers, a hundred for $8 on Amazon. So I challenge all of you guys to do that. If I'm being honest, I really don't use the keto creamer. So I have two of them here. I'm going to just pour, 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 pour samples and then do chocolate um, greens on top. So it's the, the keto hot chocolate. So um, yeah, Katie. I just wanted to add that a couple of the distributors were really apprehensive about doing their own because they were like, I don't have that much stuff. But you actually really don't need that much stuff mm -hmm. because if you make a shake and you're only giving little samples, you can literally serve an entire, sh one serving of shake will give, you know, 10 people or more a taste of it. So it's, you don't have to have a ton of product in order to do it. Thanks, Katie. Um, and get it, get together with other distributors. You bring the chocolate greens, you bring the keto coffee. You know what I mean? Like get with other people. Um, and I said, any single person, thank you, Jenny and Tanya, any person that gets 20 people on this zoom, you get 20 people on this zoom, you get a free product from me. Uh, guys get 20 people on message, 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 go for 25 because tw five might not show up, get 20 people on. Um, okay. Leslie said at our event on Saturday, we literally gave a sip worth. Don't even fill the little kid paper cups. They just need a taste. Perfect. So you do not need a lot at all. Okay. Anything more to add on a sip and sample? Okay. Next thing, um, working your business. What does it mean to work your business? So I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you guys think. My biggest thing that I will add first is if I'm truly working my business, I'm being consistent. And what does consistency mean to me? Consistency for me, now consistency for me is gonna probably mean something different for somebody else. Consistency for me is posting regularly on Facebook and completing my six list. And guys, that's when I'm like, got a newborn. I'm still gonna be consistent, I am still gonna post, or I'm still gonna complete my six list daily. If I'm doing that, not only am I working my business consistently, but I feel productive. I feel good about my day. No matter how crazy it is, I finished my six list and I feel really good about that. And moving on to tomorrow, I'm gonna grow my six list from there. So for you guys, what, is, what does it mean to be working your business? What does that mean for you guys? You can share in the chat, you can unmute yourself and share. What do you guys feel? For, I'll start. For me, it's the same it's the thing, but I do social media as well. I mean, with two kids, it's difficult for me to do events and things like that. But social media, it's not for me, not just posting, but interacting. And say I get, you know, a picture of my girls and I get like a hundred people that like it. 
those people, I, I like tend to love their stuff, but I'm just super, super big with interaction because a lot of the feedback that I've gotten from a lot of my newer customers is they felt comfortable. They just, they felt comfortable coming to me and talking about some of their goals, which is mainly weight loss. So keeping that interaction with them, whether they have ever loved on one of my posts or not, I know that if they like, like three posts of my kids that day, I know they're seeing my work stuff too. So yep. it's just having that connection with them. So yeah, I mean, consistency with my Facebook as well, but the interaction is huge. It's not just, you know, posting for Mando and Danielle's the same way, but interaction is just, if nothing else that I do that day when my mom had surgery, it was, it was interacting with people a hundred percent while she was in her surgery. I was still interacting with people. And you know what, Tanya, so that's with me, when I'm posting on Facebook, it pulls into using the products regularly, daily, consistently, whatever you want to say, because I'm not going to like go throughout my day and just be like, Oh, I I don't have an energy drink near me. I always have one here, but I'm like, I'm not going to post a picture of me like drinking my energy drink. If, if I didn't have one, like I just, I'm using the products all day, every day. So I'm taking pictures throughout my day of my journey. And, and you know what? I might take, like five pictures today and be like, Ooh, those are good pictures and then use them throughout the week type of thing. But that's what I'm doing is as I'm using the products throughout the day, I am taking pictures of me doing that. I agree. That's a, I think for some new people too, I know like months and months ago, you were so big on having like a selfie day. I don't know if, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot, I'm sure a lot of you were here then, but she used to talk about like taking a day of just doing selfies where you get yourself ready and change your hair and change your shirts and, you know, kind of laying out products and doing different product images. So you have to use like throughout even the months. I have some from last year that pop up in my newsfeed. I'm like, oh, you, that was a good one. I'm using that, that mm -hmm. one again. So having some of that, because sometimes I'm running out the door and I don't have time to take a picture of my greens. So, but I have one, you know, that I've already done. That was a big one. And just a tip there to share real quick on the selfie day or whatever. I started doing a video. So when I'm doing like, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, stop what you're doing, take a video. So set your camera up like this and record yourself and then pose in front of it. Like take, oh my gosh take a blitz card, you're recording yourself, it's videotaping, and then you have this and you're like, now you look like an idiot. If you watch the video after, you're like, oh my God. Oh. But then you're gonna go back through the video and you're gonna screenshot where you're, <laughs> so you gotta hold it for a little bit. Um, but that is like my thing. And when I take um, like my before and after pictures, that's how I do it. Like I took another picture the other night and I just recorded myself standing there and I'm, posing like this and I'm doing this and you feel like an idiot, but that's, you know, take a video and then just hold the poses so that you can then go back through and screenshot. So that's something that I've been doing in the last like month or two. And that's been like so quick and easy for me when I need time saver stuff. So any other things on working the business, what you're definitely doing on a regular basis to show that you're working the business. <laughs> Okay. I'm always talking to people all the time um, at work, and then lately I've been really interacting with my Facebook people, and especially um, from that host to post that I got such a good response from. I changed it up, and then um, now with this event, I, this one I did all of my um, messaging today from all of my leads, and I have seven responses so far. Um, I have three one-on-ones and uh, three sip and samples scheduled. And so I'm just going to go from there and ask them if they have friends. And then I did that um, giveaway for St. Patrick's Day. And I have a lady that I purposely stopped on her name because she's somebody I've been trying to get. And she's in the neighborhood and she wasn't a customer. So she might be now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm trying to pull up that thing that Leslie and I worked on. I can't think of the name of it. Anyone know the doctor? That was that list you made, yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to, I can't remember the, the title. Um, Let me see, I have it, I think. Hang on, I'm trying to find it. But Tanya just put, um, 
growing your network with the letter of the day. I guys, when I am like on my game, like host to post, if you can do host to post even once a week, that's awesome. It's really going to grow. Like you're going to get a lot, even growing your network customers, whatever, but gosh, if you can do it two times a week, even that's great. Um, but letter of the day, and then my document that I put in diamond dynasty, it gives you, um, weekly task list. So it's yeah, that's it. file right now, weekly oh. task list that gives you something to do on Monday. It gives you the same thing every Monday, complete this list. Um, so anyways, that too, I, I absolutely swear by. So, um, Jenny wrote to make sure that she stays active on current loyal customer pages, like and comment on their posts when they friend, when their friends comment on the same post, I like their comment and then friend them. Awesome. So building your network that way. Okay. Um, I don't really want to talk too, too much about messaging unless you guys have specific questions because the last, um, zoom we did, we really dug deep on messaging. So I really wanted to, you know, leave it open if you guys have specific questions and something that I do, you guys see, and you know, those of you who are in my, I'm trying to think every single one of you are in my rock stars, you know, group chat. If I'm like on my game and I'm like, you know, gosh, this poster, this, this message is just working great. And what I'm saying, I just screenshot it and send it to you guys. Um, if I feel like it's good and it's, it's duplicatable. Um, so that's something that I will continue doing is sharing my messages with you guys. Um, do you guys have any specific questions on messages? I think my biggest thing is we got to get people engaged first. So you can't just send a blurb. You can't word vomit on them the second you send them a message. Okay. That's a big thing. You can't spam them. So if you just friended something, someone, I was trying to read Tanya's comment at the same time I was talking. If you friend someone, now again, there's other leaders. I think Amanda might even say, as soon as she friends somebody, she sends them a message and says, hey, thanks for sending, accepting my friend request, blah, blah, blah. I just can't do that. It's just not me. I don't know why I even tried it a couple of times. And I'm like, I'm done. I can't do that. Like I'm very, I love when people come to me. I love when people are like, Hey, can you tell me more about this? Heck yeah, I can. But it makes me go friend more people and more people because my percentage of people coming to me, whoa, that scared me. Went Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I don't even I didn't know what it was. Um, so for me, I don't spam them. I don't, um, you know, I want to engage with them first. You know, I'm friending a bunch of people and a bunch of moms and whatever, but, um, you know, I'm trying to think of who on here, like Kate, you came to me, you know what I mean? You've been, I don't, I don't even know if I messaged you like ever, like I want, I want people to come to me, but you also have to reach out to people at the same time. What were you going to say? No, I did. I just watched you for so long and then I don't know. I, the post was try it. So guys, I, I did on the trial, the trial distributorship. Cause she was <gasps> like, she, I posted it the other day and Kate sent guys, Kate sent me a screenshot. She sends it to me and she goes, Oh my God, can I steal this? And I go, do you know that I got you from that post? <laughs> I got you from the trial. distributorship. <laughs> she goes, Oh my God, you totally did. Didn't you? I'm like, yeah, that's why it's so good in your head because it's, <laughs> It sounds amazing because you don't have a commitment. Like the people that hear no commitment, hang on. Oh my goodness. You just want to be held. So people want to hear no commitment. Like that is the thing right there. Like just throw up a post right now and be like, no commitment. Anyone that signs or anyone that joins me right now, there's no commitment. There's, you know, if you're not, if you're not, um, if you don't love it after two weeks, you can quit. No commitment. Sign up right now. Whatever. Stress urgency. Use keywords. Um, and Terry, steal posts for me. Guys, when people, I, I think Alexis maybe said something to me too. Hey, can I steal that post? I love when I'm like watching people and I see that they stole my post. Like that shows that they're, they're watching, then they're learning and you know, steal posts. I never care. And for me, it's like steal it and make it word for word. I don't care. But if you want change it up a little bit, maybe make it sound like you or whatever. And for all you guys know, I could have stole it from somebody else. So the trial distributorship, I stole from somebody else. So, um, okay. Messages, messages, messages. Um, 
use text replacement, especially when I'm doing like host to post. I guys, I use text replacement and I am not a copy and paste person, but I am literally saying the same thing to every single person. What is it? How much is it? What do I have to do? What's, what's a, what's a, whatever. They ask the same questions when it's host to post. So I use text replacement. Um, okay. Good there. Okay. Next one is growing your network. I want to hear from every single person. What is, and it can be the same as every, as somebody else. So don't, don't worry about it. So I want you to think, what is your number one way that you build your network? Think. Letter of the day. It's letter of the day? I do letter of the day. And when I wish happy birthdays to people, I go to their friends too. <laughs> I think that's great. So that's, that's, great. that's what I do. And Perfect. sometimes it turns into like being like, I don't know, five five people deep once I'm on one person's friends list. And it I've done that people's. too. I'm like, I might want to back off. I, I've like gone I'm like, such a stalker. <laughs> yep. That's I'm like, oh my God, I just liked her post. We're not even friends. Wait, delete. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. My number one way is mom groups. Hands down. I am constantly building my network in mom groups. Katie, what's yours? You guys got to unmute yourselves. Uh, send re friend, friend requests every single day minimum of 10 and I'm kind of like Tanya. Okay. I was going to say any specific way. Uh, I go through the suggestions and then when I've clicked on the person, that's a suggestion. I often find myself then going to who their friends are. And then like Perfect. Tanya said, I'm like, wait, where did I even start? I don't even know where I started. <laughs> yep. Been there, done that. Mackenzie. Um, <clears throat> I guess Probably host to post. Okay. All right. And um, I don't know. I engaging in conversation for me because that it, it just spreads. Like I was at work tonight at a academic showcase and I had my water bottle with greens in it, but I made sure it was a clear, like, gym water bottle. And I had two people come up to me and they're like wait, like, are those those greens that we see, like, or we're here, we hear about it works, we do it works, right? And I said, yeah, and they said, yeah, we keep, we keep hearing about this, like, people <laughs> watch, we don't really, yeah, like, what about the special you have going on? Well, they saw that in a host of post, mm -hmm. and um, so then it kind of just spread from there. I was at Bogey's Ice Cream, where I worked two days a week the other night, and I have gotten four loyal customers just from speaking to them while they're Hi. ordering their ice cream. So oh, my God. A lot of social interaction. I know. Um, so, and then the thing with me, too, it's like I follow up with everybody. So when they get their package, I tell them when they sign, I want you to message me when you get it, if you have any questions, and then... You know, I did like a revised kind of a little little different form of the list. I think Tonya might have, Tanya might have sent it out about the Fit 15, about the um, the day-to-day -day thing of exactly what to do, like cleanse and then cough, like that whole thing. And I added a little more into it. And then I personally just put it in a PDF and sent it to everybody. Nice. So they had Good. it. And their friends heard about that. They're like, well, you're going to, will you send us that as well? And I said, yeah, sure. So yeah. I guess kind of. Well. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Um, Jenny, what's your number one way to build your network? Um, well, the first way is what I'd already mentioned um, earlier in the chat. Uh, the other thing is the blitzing when I'm out. I reach everyone that I can when I'm out with blitzing, <clears throat> whether it's the business card or the actual blitz card. Um, and then uh, I also like the letter of the day, but I go and order A to Z and then I try to add uh, five to 10 people a day of that letter until they accept it. So I'll keep adding people until I get a certain amount of accepts. Awesome. Awesome. Charlene, what's your number one? Um, I add people from my um, dog group that I'm in and my crafting group. And then basically, um, Social media has worked for me with the host to post and that here recently, but for the most part, mine is mouth to mouth at my job, out blitzing um, at my events, meeting people. Um, that's my niche. I love that. Yeah. You're well, you're really good at it. Are you adding people that you like, you have a bunch of people you got for leads? Are you adding them on Facebook? 
I'm trying to, yeah. I was looking at that today. I was matching them um, and trying to get them. Some of them gave their Facebook names, others didn't. Okay. Um, but I did add them all on my phone with their address and their phone number. And then I used the reach app that Leslie told me about. And I did the one message to everybody and then personalized when they're responding what their specific um, I know you like was because one of the most important things that I can say is if you ever do an event is thank you Leslie so much for that is to remember what you were talking to that person about and as soon as they walk away take a minute to take a note that way like this lady I know that she's having a knee replacement I know that she's getting re another one's getting reconstructive surgery for breast cancer so you know I'm going to just drop a card in the mail to them say thinking of you and sending prayers your way you know so to me that's really important yeah that's awesome I love that Sherry what's your number one Sorry, I was trying to answer a message. You're good. Um, I do letter of the day a whole lot. And um, I like to go in and like my loyals, I friend their friends. And I also like to do, um, Lacey kind of threw it on to me, is um, just pick a name out of nowhere and just friend 10 of that name. Yes. And, um, and I get on Instagram and friend like 50 at a time. So. <laughs> I'm, so, so funny. I'm gonna share a quick little story because you said Lacey how'd you do that I, w I was on a zoom with her or a power hour with Lacey and she was like all right this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna ask my I think her dad was visiting and she was like we're gonna friend 20 people and she went and asked her dad who was your first girlfriend and he said like Bertha or some I can't yeah. remember the, do you remember the name I can't remember the name but I was like I yeah. don't have a lot of Bertha's on my name yeah I think it was Bertha yeah, it was something weird. I was like, Lacey, are you sticking with that? Can't you ask him what is what the next girlfriend's name was? Because I'm not going to have a bunch of Berthas. Yeah. <laughs> but, but do that. Like, have fun with it. Like, like ask ask your best friend or ask someone, hey, give me, um, you know, whatever. Ask them and then just go do it. Yeah. Um, find Type that name in and just go friend 10 of them. Um, Roberta, what's your number one way to build your network? Okay, uh, um, right now I've been blitzing everybody and then making sure to take my greens to the different cafeteria areas so that people are asking. So I've got about three people at work trying to get them. So like I blitz the salesman at the car dealership and that seems to work the best for me as talking one-on-one. -on -one. I love it. I love seeing everyone's strengths come out so differently from other people's. I absolutely love that. It just goes to show that you truly can work this business any way that you want to. And I've, I feel like over the past, like what, four and a half years, I've been really good at this. And then I stop being good at that because life happens. And then I'm really good at this. Like right now I am like for the last, like probably like six to eight year, I have like strict, strict, like social media but I love doing events, but it's just really hard for me right now to do events. So I feel like things are really, I love doing certain things here and there. So just keep in mind, if you aren't loving events right now, if you're like, no, events just really aren't for me. Guys, I challenge you, do one event and do it with somebody. And I'm telling you right now, you're gonna have fun. And do the same thing with a party. If you're like, I just don't really do parties, it's just not my thing. Guys, throw a party at your own house invite people, invite some team members and invite their potentials. Like once you try different things and step out of your comfort zone a little bit, get away from social media. We can sit behind a computer all day and just sit there and hide, but try new things and see if you do like doing this or that. And sometimes it becomes your comfort zone once you feel more comfortable doing what you're doing. So I never liked parties. I signed up knowing I didn't have to do parties, but hi, I could host a party today and wing it and I'd be fine because that's my comfort zone now because I, I know how to answer those questions. Um, Leslie, what's your number one way to build your network? <laughs> could you tell I was struggling? I was like, it's not going. I can help if you need my assistance. Um, I like to take people in my posts and then when their friends comment on the um, post itself that I'm not friends with, then I'll friend them. 
Um, but I'm also with Charlene in regards to events. I love to talk to people face to face, which is why when you carry the product, when you have the product on you, when you wear the product, um, not the product, but when you wear your shirts, people ask questions. It's an easy way to start conversations. Um, I was going to just suggest, especially if you're hesitant about events or parties, um, I used to go into an event and go into a party thinking, okay, I have to sign loyal customers. I have to sell product. Uh, I don't think that way anymore. Now I'm, I'm so lucky I get to help people today. Um, how do I get to help people today? I get to offer something to somebody that could help them really, truly, and honestly change their lives. It has changed the way I, I communicate with people so much. And I would say that that's transferred also into the messaging that I do um, through Messenger or texting or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that I would um, just say is, especially when you meet people, ask them how they want to be contacted. Because I think sometimes we think it has to always go through Facebook or social media. And the slips that I have from the last expo that we did, there's a lot of people who just want text messages. Um, they don't even do social media. And especially the older um, generation, if you will, or the older crowd, and let's face it, I'm part of that, uh, right. they don't have Facebook. So um, they, want, they want text messages. Um, they want a phone call. And so I appreciate that when I know how they want to be communicated with. Yeah, I love that. And I've done my fair share of events with Leslie. And I remember there was this one event, I think it was the one at the Avondale Sports Center, but it wasn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, we kind of talked, we were like, oh, like, we didn't, I don't know, it just wasn't like, as successful as we'd hoped. And then we kind of took a step back and we were like, think about all the good that came from that event. Like we, oh my God, do you remember the girl that said she hated it works and now she was like oh my god they have a skincare line I could that would be awesome like there were so many awesome things that happened during that event no we didn't sign any customers that was fine but there were so many great things that came from that event and I think it really it taught me a lot it taught her a lot and having that conversation every time we go to an event or like a one team one mission or whatever Leslie and I like leave it and we're like oh my god what did you get from it and da -da -da -da, and we just talk back and forth and it's like that's the fun part for me is like going over everything afterwards and talking about like what you got from it and the great things about it. And, and I don't know, I'm, I've changed my mindset with, um, events. I, I was having events and I like was never signing customers. And I was like, what, what am I doing wrong? Like what's wrong with me that I can't sign a customer at an event. And then I'm like, I'm walking away with like 50 potential customers with all these slips. And I had some great conversations and whatever, I could go on and on, but you see what I'm saying? So change your mindset a little bit too. If you're struggling with something, you know, Tanya said, stepping out of the box, sometimes bring your excitement back guys. When I, after I went diamond, um, you know, I went down a little bit, I started to struggle and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start doing fun videos because I'm going to try to have fun with this again. Cause I was struggling and I put on a mullet, put on glasses and danced and sang and made shakes. And my husband never wanted to talk to me again, but it, cause I was crazy, but, um, people loved it. And I started signing customers like crazy. Like the first day I did the video, I signed four customers for either the shake or the greens. One of the things that I used in the video. So when you start to feel yourself, like, I'm just not excited. Like I'm frustrated. I feel like this is a job. Like change it up. You got to do something to change it up. And you're the one, that's the thing. We don't have a boss. We're the ones that has to figure that out. We've got to change things up. Talk to people about it. See what works. Come talk to me about it. Um, but I'm going to say, are you plugged into the zooms? I'm going to say, are you going live? I'm going to say, are you posting on Facebook consistently? You know, I'm going to ask you what, when's the last time you actually got a wrap on somebody. So anyways, um, Tanya, you know what, Daniel, I wanted to talk about this one lady that, um, the two that came back to me at the event. I mean, I was shocked. I, I did not expect it, but this one little lady, when Leslie was saying about that, they don't have social media, she didn't even have a cell phone. She has a landline and, um, she didn't have an email. So I had to use one of my emails that I don't use for her. And, <laughs> But, you know, don't ever discount what you think might not be that customer or that next black diamond for you because, like, 
when she came back and she was just so excited, but she didn't want the coffee because she can't do the caffeine. So can I trade it for the cream? Well, yeah, you know, I'll give you my creamer. You take, I'll take your coffee. It's not a big deal. And yeah. it just, uh, it was so cool just to see that little lady and watch how happy she was to think that maybe something was going to change and make her feel just a little bit younger for a few days or something. You know, it, it was, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, Alexis, what is your number one way to um, build your network? I'm totally like a creeper over here. <laughs> Sounding like a man because I'm sick. Oh um, um, I have recently been um, friending people like from high school or that I went to college with the suggestions that Facebook gives you. Yeah. Um, before, when I first started, I was like, oh, I haven't talked to them in so long. Like, I'm not going to friend them. But now I'm kind of like, and you, and you, and you, and you. So I've just been like friending all of them. Um, and I figure like if they see one post of mine, like maybe it'll get them thinking. Um, and I've also started doing the letter of the day. So um, like I try to, I pick a letter, you know, A or whatever. And then I try to find, I try to go to like seven A's and like, you really give their, their Facebook page love, like comment on some of their pictures or like something or go back a couple days and like, you know, randomly like something. So, um, and then the third thing I've been doing is making sure I friend those who have liked or commented on any of my host of posts. Cause I've been doing a lot of those. Good. Good. That's awesome. Ah, oh, thanks for sharing. Um, yeah. Terry, Terry said you can talk if you want to, but I know she added something. I've just been in this over 60 group for yeah. women and it's women over 60 is what it's called. And what I do is I'll just go out and Google um, little baby pictures for the day. Like on a Monday, I look motivational baby pictures and I take those and post on them and everybody over 60 loves babies, you know? <laughs> so I've had a lot of likes. I've had a lot of likes on the, on the post I do in there. All I do is post those pictures and then I friend them. And then if I post on my own page of it works, I've had a lot of their likes on my posts. So um, th there's been a couple people that have been interested, but when I start talking money, they say, well, not this week, maybe next. So I'm thinking they're waiting for the social security checks to come in. Quite <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, possibly. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but that's what I've been doing. And it's really been very helpful. A lot of people love, you know, these pictures and I, you know, just friend them and they friend me back. And Yeah. Okay. You know, awesome. And I do the letter of the day usually too, or I try to. Okay. All right. Uh, Kate, what's your number one way to build your network? Um, mine has been from host to post. Um, and then the creeper like Alexis, where I just hit and you and you and you and you and you all my suggestions. Um, and then I've been looking at people that have liked other of my friends posts and then I add them and then the letter of the day. So I'm trying not to be too spammy on people, but. Sorry, I had a creeper coming in here wants to say hi. He says, Leslie's right there. And then who's that? Leslie said, who's that? Uh, Nana Papa. Na Did you hear me? Nana <laughs> Always Papa. calls me Nana Papa. That's, that's just Nana. <laughs> Nana Papa on a plane. Uh, go see him on a plane. All right, go with Daddy. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Yep, show me yours. Oh, your look at that. Whoa. I love you, New York. Wow. No, they like it. <laughs> look at there, Charlene. Love There's you, there. buddy. Okay, go with Daddy. Mama. I love you. I'll, I'm almost done. All right. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Angela, are you doing dinner? You want to chime in, girlfriend? All right. All right. Oh, here's Sorry. I'm not, oh, I can chime in for a second. Sure. No, my phone might die, though, because it's at, like, 1%. <laughs> um, no, I think um, post to post has been a big one joining like mom's groups and stuff like that. Um, I've been like posting, I don't know if somebody already shared this, sorry, I've kind of been in and out and doing bath time. Okay. Uh, but 
like posting pictures or, or I don't know, questions about breastfeeding, whatever, in the mom's groups, and then just adding everybody to comments. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Good. So I think that's been the biggest thing for me. Um, and host to post, that's what's been the most successful for me this month, even with customers. All right. Awesome. I love it. So you see like some things that are the same and then you kind of see some people doing a couple things that are a little different. So, all right. Um, the last thing that I want to say is how important it is to challenge yourself because here's the thing. We don't have a boss. We don't have somebody telling us what to do and I'm never going to tell you what to do. I'm going to show you and try to lead from the front. So when I do something, I share it with you guys to like, in hopes that you guys step outside of your comfort zone and try it. So, so I want us to all challenge ourselves, and I want us to all do something just within the next week. Okay. You don't have to do it today. You don't have to do it tomorrow, but think of something that you're like, Oh, I really don't like blitzing. I really don't like this. I really don't like that. And I want you to put yourself out there. So I'm going to make a post in diamond dynasty and I'm going to make dinner here shortly. So at some point tonight, yeah, we'll talk to Leslie later. Okay. Love you. Bye. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm going to put a post up at some point. What I want you to do is I want you to say it like, hi, my name is Tanya and I hate blitzing. <laughs> I feel like we're at El Call Anonymous. <laughs> and then within the next week, I want you to then share how that went. Hi, my name's Tanya, and I stepped outside my comfort zone, and I went blitzing, and I absolutely hated it, but I pretended that I was somebody else, and I just went, and I just, <laughs> I always tell people, pretend that I'm standing over your shoulder, like stalking you. What would I say? What would I help you do? Like, whatever. So that's what I want you guys to do. I really want you to think of one thing to challenge yourself to do, to step outside your comfort zone, to build your network, to grow your business, however it may be. Okay. And then, um, then share it with us. The other thing that I'm going to say is our next zoom. I want to talk about events and parties. So if you're somebody, <coughs> Leslie, Charlene, if you're somebody that you feel <coughs> Roberta, <laughs> that you are like, I do events. I love events. Angela does events too. Um, I want you to share. So our next zoom that we're going to do, I really want to talk about events and parties because when I first got started, I, I hated parties, hated parties. And I was like, ah, maybe I'll do an event someday. So for those people that feel that way, I want us to tell them it's, it's not as hard as it may look to you. Um, you just got to step outside your comfort zone a little bit and go do it. Take that step to go do it. So we'll do that. Um, the next time, does anyone have anything else that they want to add? Um, remember I challenge every single one of you to get 20 people on our opportunity zoom. So you're going to have to message, 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 message. Okay. So power hour, make the entire hour about messaging, um, for the next two days. So that's, that's my two cents on that one. All right. Anything else before we wrap it up? <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> but <Bam -pitch. laughs> you guys love me. <laughs> All right, guys. Emma says, bye. Say bye. Hey, look at them. Look over there. <laughs> She's looking at the keyboard. Hey, no, we got nothing. Oh, there we go. Here, look up here. Look up here. Oh, they are. There you go, those big eyes. I'm still recording. Whoops. We'll stop.